Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Here we are in Hawaii. Last time we took on the dojo in Philadelphia once again, and then also battled, uh, well, the, the three from Grass Jewel. <laughs> Professor Maple, Emmett, and Evan. And this time we're actually going to go take on the newly reopened Hawaii gym. So let's go ahead inside. Now, one thing that, to note is that this is essentially the same exact gym as it was in Polka Aqua and Polka Aqua 2, essentially. So we're going to be battling the same trainers because they're basically, you know, they're the same people. So let's go do this. What a battle. Okay, but I won't lose. All right, let's do this. So in order to get through this gym, you need to battle all of the gym trainers. So, all right, ZG Gamer, of course now ZG Eevee. All right, leading off with, of course, the shiny Eevee. All right, let's cross chop. It is going to outspeed with Payday. And it gets a crit. Okay, I see how this is. I see how this is. All right, a crit for a crit. We are going to return the favor with a crit right there. Eevee is down. Next up is Suicune. Let's bring in Hungry. Okay. I think Zing Zap is the play to make here. Maybe we can get some flinches happening. Because somehow I don't think we're going to one-shot a Suicune. Actually, no, we can't. We can't flinch it because it's in our focus. Never mind. At least it's still stabbed. We are going to skillfully dodge that Hydro Pump. So that is going to take out Suicune. All right. That works. I am not thinking. Next up is Scizor. Okay. Um... Go into who? All right, now we can just go for Sacred Fire. And that should take out the Scizor. There we go. All right, so Scizor is down. Next up is Mew. Uh, I think we can go into Purple and Crunch. Or, you know, let's go into Hungry and Unpaid. I just wait Stab. No reason not to go for Stab. All right, here we go. Unpaid. And that should do some serious damage. Ooh, it lived. Okay. That's not good. Alright. He's gonna heal now. Hopefully that doesn't burn. And of course it burns. Okay. Most unfortunate, because now... Maybe we get a high roll this time? Maybe we get a high roll? I don't know. Let's see, because the problem is he's going to heal again, and we're going to take more burn damage. Uh, yeah, I'm, we're not. Okay, so you know what, maybe the play here is instead, we Ancient Punch, get a boost, maybe. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but then another Unpaid Day, it will be in range for Unpaid Day to KO. This way he doesn't use another full restore, which means we don't take a little bit of extra burn damage. And if we do get a boost here, all the better. Okay, there's the boost. Nice. Okay. So now Unpaid Ice certainly KOs, but we are going to take quite a bit of more burn damage. So that does do like... Near, that does over 50 HP. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 
Alright. But this will take out Mew. Okay. Next up is Dragonite. Uh... I mean... Yes... You know what? I'm gonna stay in, go for a plus go for a plus one on payday. Sack hungry, this way we get a safe switch into something. Uh obviously I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a neutral on payday rather than a super effective ancient punch. Uh because of the burn. Everything else we have is is physical. Dragon Claw will certainly KO us at this range, and even if by some bizarre miracle it didn't, which it was going to. Uh, the burn would have taken this down anyway. Alright, so now... You can just go into purple. Actually, I could have just gone into who and just gone for two moon blasts. Doesn't really matter. He's gonna heal the Dragonite. This way it's intimidated anyway. I should have gone Ancient Punch, actually, in hindsight, but whatever. Dragon Claw should at least KO. Here we go. And this is not quite going to get the KO. I'm going to go for the Ancient Punch now while he heals because, you know, a high roll Dragon Claw, it looks like would have KO'd unless we somehow got the high roll that time. But, you know, there's literally no reason not to go for Ancient Punch if it, because if we get the boost, we outspeed anyway of Dragon Claw. If we don't outspeed, then Dragon Claw not KOing wouldn't make a difference. Oh, we got a crit. And the boost! Okay, that couldn't have possibly worked out better. Actually, you know what? I guess it could have. Come to think of it, I think the crit, because we got the boost, I think we would have been better off without the crit. Because this way we would have been able to get two boosts. Being a plus two against the Blissey would have been really nice. All right. Plus one and the Meteor Mash. It's not going to do... Not hitting up the KO. But it should do some damage. Boost. No boost. We are avoiding that Blizzard though, so that's nice. But unfortunately... Leftovers Recovery does kind of suck. Okay. Um... I'm going to go for an Ancient Punch here because I want to boost, and at the very least, I don't want it in range to... I don't want to leave Blissey in range to full restore. Never mind, it's going to go for Soft Boiled. Yeah, we're going to have to get to a point where we Q would KO it. So, the fact that it has Blizzard, I think, could be quite the problem for us because we are weak to it. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Blizzard will probably be a 2 would KO on us. Alright, so if we can get, this should be, assuming that it doesn't go soft well right now, another Meteor Mash should KO, especially if we get a boost. That looks like a crit. Okay, we're getting the crit right there. Let's go. So with that, we have defeated ZG Gamer, now ZG Eevee. I lost Impossible. Eevee is the best Pokemon ever, don't you agree? Well, eh, I like Eevee, I'll give you that. Eevee is a good Pokemon. But I think we should probably heal up before we take on the next battle. Oh, level eight. Here we go. I modest Helios, have a dream. I wish to battle great trainers like you. Alright. Well then. Let's do this. Alright. So modest Helios leading off with Superior. Okay, so I think the play is to. We're about to take a dragon claw to the face. That is gonna hurt. That is certainly going to hurt. 
Okay. The play is we hard switch into, uh, we hard switch into who. That's what we do here. Because if we didn't outspeed it that time, we ain't gonna outspeed it this time. Here we go. You're gonna Dragon Claw. The prediction! The prediction. I guess it's Solid KO with Leaf Blade. Huh. Well then. Alright, we are gonna land the Moonblast. That should at half health, it should KO. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so Superior is down. Next up is Gudra. Uh, well, we have choices. You know, let's go into the goat to go earthquake. The goat really won't appreciate a sludge bomb, but you know, do what we can. All right, here we go. This should do some damage here. It is a bit bulky, but yeah, you are gonna. It is gonna take the hit. Here's the sludge bomb. That is gonna hurt. I think we do take at least one, even if it's stab. But problem is poison hacks. Never mind. We're not taking a crit. We're not taking a crit. That is a problem. That is definitely a problem. Alright, the good news is purple does two hit KO with Dragon Claw. And, uh, well, he's certainly going to heal. So, here we go. All right, here we go. It's actually just gonna one-shot, all right, nice. Next up is Delphox. Let's go to Entei EX. Alright, so I guess we Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump in the ring should do enough damage to KO, actually. Because thanks to Gudra setting up that rain for us. Never mind. I am underestimating Delphox's to death. Alright. What an ancient power here. It's probably gonna heal anyway. Um. But this way we get potentially a free boost. We're not getting the boost, but we can go for... Oh! Oh, we are getting played. All right, you know what? That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Hydro Pump should do some damage as Ariora. It is a two at KO, which means we're probably safe to just go for another Hydro Pump because it should KO at this range. Assuming this KOs, we're good. If it doesn't, we're gonna get KO'd by a Zing Zap. All right, we are taking down Ariora, so that actually worked out perfectly. All right, next up is Heliolisk. Definitely not staying in on that. Let's go into Ziggy. Okay. So we can go Earthquake. Earthquake should easily bop the Heliolisk.
And it's a crit. Okay, perfect. Alright, Heliolisk is down. Next up is Delphox. I really have no reason to switch out. Um, Earthquake will take it out. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, and finally, Inteleon. Well, I guess we go into Hungry. Okay. We can go for a Zing Zap. Get a flinch or two, and although Inteleon doesn't have the most defense in the world, so two with KO should be fine. There's a flinch. Okay, we got this. Although actually, yeah, just leftovers are over good. We're good. Not in range to heal, so Inteleon will go down. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so with that we defeated Modest Heliolisk. Perfect. It's bad luck to choose one from four. Choosing from five is fine, choosing from three is fine. But when you choose from four, something bad will happen. Uh-huh. Alright, well, I'm gonna go heal up. Because... These battles are not the easiest battles, so... You know, it just seems reasonable to heal up between them. Okay. So, next up. Here we go. It's time for us to battle. Alright, here we go. So with that, we are challenged by Gallade. Leading with, you guessed it, Gallade. Alright. Um. You know what? I think Earthquake is probably the play to make right here. It might not KO, but... Yeah, it didn't quite KO, but got greedy. Got greedy right there. Health is going to get restored with the coffee, but I don't think it's going to be full health, in which case, yeah, that works out really well for us, because... Um, plus two attack on the Gallade, but it's not going to make a difference, because Earthquake's going to KO it. Alright, perfect. Next up is Bolton. We can just go for an Earthquake. Alright, Zygarde Complete is just so broken. <laughs> All right. So that Bolton is down. Next up is Frostlass. I am certainly not staying in on Frostlass. Uh, let's go into Hungry. Okay. So I'm going to Ancient Punch here because, oh, okay, you're going to play that way. That is an option. Alright. Spell me out here. We are getting the boost there. The good news is that also means that Ancient Punch will certainly KO. But we are Toxic Poisoned, which does suck. Leftover's Recovery isn't going to make a difference here. That Protect, however, that does... that does suck. Okay. Alright, I still am pretty confident that... Uh, that Ancient Punch does KO here. You've got the double protect? Seriously? Oh my goodness. 
All right, that double protect there. That is that that that's unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna unpay it. That'll take it out. Unfortunately, hungry is gonna end up going down to the poison damage because double protect. All right, next up is God of Law. I think I have to just let it moonblast us. If I don't full restore here, we're going to die to the toxic. Alright. Here we go. There's the moonblast. I don't really care if you lower my special attack. Although that did do quite a bit of damage there, so... Basically, if Zing Zap doesn't flinch, um, we get KO'd. <laughs> Alright, come on, show me the flinch. There's the flinch! Let's go! Alright, now, he heals. That's fine, because if we, as long as we outspeed, which we should at plus one, no problem, we, we KO. So here's an Ancient Punch. That should get us the plus two, maybe? And it does. Beautiful. Alright. Which means if it does half of its health at plus one, plus two should finish it, no problem. Alright. And that gets us the plus three. Alright, next up is Jirachi. Alright, you know what? At plus three special attack, I think we can just unpay die. If this doesn't KO, we're in trouble, because we're definitely going to get KO'd, but... <laughs> um, nah, that, uh, that'll do the trick. Alright, so Jirachi is down, nice and easy. And next up is Decidueye. Same deal. Plus three on payday. Stab. This should do the trick. And it does. Alright. Perfect. So with that, we are defeating Gallade. How did you win? You're just way too powerful. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to heal up Hungry and not bother going back to the Pokemon Center because of time. Here we go. I don't feel like walking all the way back to heal one Pokemon. Hello. So, you would like to challenge the gym leader? Well, then you'll have to get past me first. Alright, here we go. Trainer Celebi. Alright. Uh, leading off Terrakion, I guess Earthquake is the play? Really no reason not to Earthquake here. Since it has Inner Focus, we can't flinch it anyway. Super effective, stab, coming from a Zygarde complete. Yeah, Terrakion's not taking that. Next up is Sceptile. That concerns me slightly. It's really a shame that we don't have an ice type. We don't have any ice type coverage on our team. That would be nice. Okay, so this will at least nerf if you have Dragon Claw. Let's go for our own Dragon Claw. Two hit KO, probably. Yeah. Long as it doesn't crit, we take this. Alright, like I said. Okay. And now... Citrus doesn't really do anything. 
at all, honestly. So now we can go for another Dragon Claw. Actually, two Dragon Claws, unless we crit. It'll be good. Okay. There we go. And that'll take out Zepdial. Next up is Porygon Z. You know what? Ziggy can go for a cross chop. Huge power Porygon Z does scare me a bit. Not gonna lie. But... You know, I guess we'll see how this goes, because it should be somewhat frail, so I don't think it's taking the cross shop anyway. And it doesn't. Alright, Porygon Z is down. Next up is Shedinja. Just rock slide. There we go. Goodbye, Shedinja. Okay, next up is Zapdos. I mean... Same deal, I guess. There we go. Can't flinch it, but the thing is, um, even if it somehow lives, it can't go for electric. Ah, we're just gonna KO it. Alright, so Zapdos is down. Next up is Weirdier. Um, I guess we go into Hungry to go for an Unpaid Eye. That seems like the, uh, the play to make. Okay, a little bit intimidating, but here we go. This should do the trick. At the very least, it should be a two at KO. Alright, we're just gonna Oko. Perfect. Alright, so Weird Ear is down. And with that, we defeated Celebi. How? How did I lose? How did I lose? I spent years of studying all possible battle strategies. Well. Um. You know. Sometimes things happen. What can I say? Alright. So, let's do this. I'm on vacation from the Texas region. What's that? Never heard of that place before. Let me give you a Texas-sized taste of what we, how we battle. Alright, let's do this. So, Austin's leading off with Espeon. I guess we can just go Earthquake right off the bat. Really no reason not to. Next up is Raichu. Well, I guess I can just go Earthquake here as well. This way it's super effective. That should do some damage. Alright, and that's going to take down the Raichu. Perfect. Next up is Umbreon. You know what? Cross chop on that thing. Here we go. I believe a crit will KO. If it's not a crit, I don't know. Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. Alright, so Umbreon is down. Next up is Marowak. I mean, I guess we could stay in. No Earthquake. Eh, 
That should do some serious damage, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Double edge. Well, okay then. Um, that's a play. All right. Here we go. So Marowak is down. Next up is Kangaskhan. We can just go cross chop, probably. Alright, let's do this. I mean, I don't think Kangaskhan will take a cross chop, but yeah, it's not. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Kangaskhan is down. Next up is Torkoal. Torkoal does not want to take an earthquake. There is no scenario where Torkoal wants to take an Earthquake from his eye guard. So this should take it out. There we go. So that Torkoal is down. And we defeated Trainer Austin. Fair enough, you have defeated me. Fair enough, you have claimed victory over me. Well done. Probably go heal up. Actually, wait a minute. Why did I just heal that if we're gonna go heal in a Pokemon Center? I am not thinking. So, next up, let's battle you. I hope you have glue in your feet because you're about to be swept right off them. All right, well, here we go. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Connor. Leading off Sceptile. All right, Ziggy, let's go for... I guess we Rock Slide, maybe we get a flinch. I don't see how else we're going to KO this thing in one shot. We're not going to be able to one-shot it. All right, it is going to get a Dragon Claw. That does, that's going to hurt. All right, so let's cross chop then. Okay. All right, so next up is for alligator. We can go purple to uh do this. Okay. So we can go dragon claw, I guess. I don't know. That should do some damage, hopefully, because I mean the problem is I don't really think purple definitely doesn't want to take an ice school crash, but Oof. Okay. Blizzard. That can't be good. That's certainly going to hurt. And we're actually living. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go Ancient Punch here. Because it's in range for Dragon Claw to KO anyway, so there's really no reason for us not to do that. Okay, so we're not getting the boost there, but we can go for a Dragon Claw to finish this. 
And that'll take off our alligator, no problem. Okay. Next up will be Flygon. Um... I'm just gonna go into Who. Whatever. Okay, so we can go Moonblast here. That's stab and super effective. Should do some damage. And it's a crit. Alright, we're taking down a Flygon. Okay, so next up is Charizard. Literally no reason not to go Ziggy and Rock Slide. Okay. So now we can go Rock Slide. That'll take out Charizard. Perfect. Next up is Blastoise. You know what? Whatever. We just we can just stay in. Just summon the rain. That is fine. Might as well go Rock Slide first and then go for Earthquake because I'm pretty sure Earthquake isn't going to straight up one shot. There's the flinch. Now, if Rock Slide does that much, I'm fairly certain Earthquake will actually finish the job. So now we can do this. Perfect. Okay, so Blastoise is down. Next up is Luxray. Well, we're going to get intimidated, but... Stab Super Effective Earthquake should still do serious damage from a Zygarde complete. Here we go. For the Earthquake. And that is a crit. Okay. You're taking down Luxray. And with that, we defeat a Connor. Oh, Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Well done, trainer. You surely will go far. I know this sounds random, but Stunfist looks like a pancake. Don't you agree? I mean, I guess it kind of does. Alright, I'm just going to heal up a couple of our Pokemon, and then we can go on to the final Gym Trainer. Okay, we are healed up. Let's do this. So, you have come to challenge me. Very well. It's time to duel. All right, let's do this. So we are challenged by Sars Light with Rayquaza. All right, it's not messing around. It's Rock Slide. Rock Slide should do quite a bit of damage here. Get one shotted. All right. Rayquaza is down. Next up is Minin. Okay. Um. Yeah. I think the play to make is to just go Rock Slide. I think we Rock Slide because Minin is levitating. So, we're not going to Earthquake. We're going to one-shot it. Perfect. Alright, next up is Blissey. I think we stay in and just keep doing what we're doing. Never mind, we're getting outsped. We're getting outsped by a Blissey. This is something that is happening right now. We're probably going to get flinched, too. That was a crit, and probably also a flinch. It is also being... That is also a flinch. Alright. We are getting... We are getting destroyed by a Blissey. 
that is something that is happening right now. Okay, so we're going to intimidate that thing. Meteor mash. Oh my goodness, we need something with, with inner focus, don't we? Okay, we are going to actually break through with this meteor mash, but it's not going to do enough, is it? <laughs> boost? We're getting the boost, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. <gasps> Outspeeding! Let's go! Come on. Come on, show me a crit here. Show me the crit. Show me the crit. Come on, plus one. We don't even need it because we're plus one. Let's go. Blissey is down. All right. Next up is Wooloo. Okay. All right. All right. I see you there. Let's go Dragon Claw. Plus one, so it should do some damage. Cool. All right, so Wooloo is down. Next up is Reggie Gigas. Well, I guess we just Dragon Claw and hope for the best. All right, Ancient Punch is gonna destroy us right now. Literally, no scenario where we take this. The problem is, there's a boost, isn't it? Yeah, okay, now we're staring at a plus one omni-boosted Regigigas. That is... that is not good. Okay. Um... Hungry, I need you to come through. I need you to come through right now. Come on, there's the unpaid eye. And... Oh... That is a problem. And it's getting its health back. Okay. Alright, the goat. Come on, we need a crit right now. Come on, show me the crit. Show me the crit. Show me the crit. Come on, I believe. Let's go! Let's go! Alright. By the power of plot armor, we are getting that crit. Regigigas is down. Next up is Furfru. Let's stay in. Okay, so let's Leaf Blade. Because you can't cross chop on a ghost. So, here we go. No crit there. Silver Wind. Going for that Omni Boost. As long as it, if it gets the boost, that sucks, but we'll, we still should win this. Alright, there's the boost. That's fine, as long as it doesn't outspeed us. Although, plus one... I think we still... I think we still might narrowly take a Silver Wind. But, plus one defense, Leaf Blade will still KO. We're good. Perfect. Alright, so Furfru is down. And with that, we defeated Sars Light. You have done well to defeat me. Your bond with your partners is strong, and you must truly believe in the heart of the cards. I look forward to our next duel. I await our next duel. Alright, so with that, we defeated all of the gym trainers. Now, there is but one more trainer to face in this gym. Alright, here we go. We gotta battle the leader himself. Alright. This is going to be tough, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to lead off with purple for this and just hope for the best. Let's go. Welcome to the Hawaii Gym. For the time being, I am once again serving as its leader. 
and I do hope to get in a couple of good battles while I'm here on vacation. When the former gym leader left to continue on an adventure, I returned to accept people's challenges. I suppose you're here to challenge me? Very well. Let's have some fun. Alright, so with that, we are taking on the leader of the Hawaii gym. Leader Eric. Alright, leading off Azuril. Okay. So we're going to get the immediate intimidate off, which is kind of what we need. Because <laughs> getting in the minus one is kind of essential in order to actually take a hit. So now we can go for Meteor Mash. Because Azuril is a threat. And we're gonna one-shot. Let's go! Plus one! Alright, Azuril is down. Next up is Shaman. Huh. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stay in. It's gonna be a sacrifice, but... Okay, let's think about this. Ancient Punch would do 120 base plus super effective, so that's 240 base damage. Versus Dragon Claw, which would be 150 plus stab, which would be 225 base damage, but... Uh, could theoretically... I don't know. I guess we go Ancient Punch just because it does... Never mind. We're getting outsped anyway. Okay, I should have healed. Alright. That didn't work. Let's go into Ziggy. You're about to Pixie Kick us, aren't you? Alright, we are going to outspeed with the Rock Slide, so... That should actually KO... All right, so Shaman's down. Next up is Latias. Um, maybe a purple went down. Okay, I'm gonna go into Hungry here to go for Pixie Kicks because, uh, pro tip when you're facing Latios and Latias. Don't use a special attacker because Soldu is going to uh, be a problem. Raising the special attack in Spadef is going to be is going to be a threat for you. All right, there's a flinch right there. Go for another Pixie Kick here. It's going to bring it into range to heal, but I'm okay with that. Flinch. There we go. Now he's going to heal. I'm going to go Ancient Punch this time while he heals, because if we can get the boost here, basically it's a free hit, because this will do the amount of damage enough to get it into KO range after another Pixie Kick. So, might as well do the Ancient Punch while he's healing, because this way um, I, I can't flinch him while he's not attacking. Okay, perfect. So now, two Pixie Kicks KO. No question. All we have to do is get one flinch, and Latias goes down. Latios should actually be easier because Latios is not as bulky. Uh, alright. You know what? Literally no reason not to go for another Ancient Punch then. Because if we can get a boost from it... All right, we didn't get the boost, so... Okay, he is switching into Zeraora. You know what? That was a dumb play for him. That was not... I guess... I don't know. I don't know what the AI was thinking. Maybe the AI was expecting another Ancient Punch? I don't know. I mean, this is resisted, but there's still... It's still going to do enough to KO, so... We are missing. Oh. 
That's not good. That is... That is not good. Well... I didn't play wrong. <laughs> I got out hacks. Alright, let's Earthquake. Alright, take this thing out. I got out hacked. Alright, so Zeriora is down. Next up is gonna be Latias. Coming back in. But. Alright. We're gonna go for the Meteor Mash here. If we can get a boost here, then I think another one KOs. Okay, so we should KO with another Meteor Mash. Assuming we take this, assuming we don't get burned. If we get burned, then I can't attack. Just don't... Actually, it's going to KO, isn't it? Oh yeah, it does. Of course, because it's all do boosted. Alright, Ziggy. Here we go. Alright, he's going to heal anyway. We got outplayed. I did not expect for Zeriorda to, uh... Avoid two Ancient Punches. Alright, fortunately, as long as we don't miss his Rock Slide, Latias goes down. Because Zygarde Complete is still just fundamentally broken. Alright, next up is Latios. Um, same deal. Same deal. Two Rock Slides should do the trick. Not too worried. Alright. Although, it's not flinching. It is landing a Dragon Pulse. That's gonna hurt. Like, that is really gonna hurt. We do have a lot of HP, but... That's a crit! Soul do boosted stab! Super effective! Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, who? Here we go. I'm gonna go for the Moonblast, and... Hopefully we break through the soldo. Let's go! Latios is down. And next up is Chinchino. Okay. That's Sacred Fire because I want to burn that thing. There's the burn, so we should be able to take a hit now. Ironhead should not KO. Should probably be a four hit KO with that. Plus, you're on a burn timer now. Play Luster Purge or Unpaid? Luster Purge is stab. I think that's the better play here. Okay, Iron Head, we're probably gonna flinch. Not the end of the world. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Because now, as long as we don't. We're gonna flinch again. As long as we can land a Luster Purge, now we KO. Ah, uh, that's just bad luck. Okay. Alright, we did get the burn the first time. Okay, Anti-EX, here we go. I think we have to actually heal something. Like, I'm gonna be real. Um, it's in heal range. It's in heal range. I can't... Yeah. Hydro Pump wouldn't have done enough damage. Aeroblast wouldn't have done enough damage. Uh, ancient power wouldn't have mattered. Now, there's the rock slide. It's gonna flinch us anyway. It's not gonna KO, but it's gonna do over half. I'm gonna flinch, okay. You know what? I'm gonna stack our odds here. 
Hopefully Ziggy can just come in and cross chop, but in the unlikely event that that doesn't work out for us, at least we have, um, we do have Hungry in the back. But, yeah. This battle, we're just getting out haxed. <laughs> it's that simple. Alright, here's the cross chop. That should take out the Chinchino. And it does. Okay, perfect. So Chinchino is down. And with that, we defeated Leader Eric. Now that was a great battle. You are truly a skilled Pokemon trainer. For a battle like that, you definitely deserve a badge. Here you go. So with that, we receive the Mythic Badge from Eric. Having that badge honestly doesn't do anything special. But hey, you get to say you have another badge. That's got to count for something, right? Well, anyway, take this too. So with that, we obtained TM01. The TM I handed you contains my favorite move, Payday. Just by using it, you get some extra money. Talk about convenience. Now, now you have proven to be quite the capable trainer. As such, I'm going to head back home. But I'd like you to lead this gym. So, as of now, this gym is your responsibility. Good luck, leader. Alright, so with that, we are now the gym leader of the Hawaii gym. And as the leader, we can actually take challenges from gym trainer. Well, from gym challengers. I mean, we already battled all of the gym trainers, who um, I guess the challengers can also battle as they come to the gym. Uh, however, all of the gym trainers in this gym were actually uh, the beta testers for the game. So they actually came up with their own. Uh, <laughs> their own dialogue, and their own teams. So, if you are noticing some interesting sets there, you know, you can thank them for their uh, creativity there. Also, they are rebattleable. Like, you can actually rematch them. So, at any time, any number of times. So, you have that option as well. Now, next time, we're going to go battle some of the challengers that we can have in this gym as the new leader. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Goodbye.